I went in for a truck this morning, and when I did, it was obviously the normal um, 5 a.m. truck shenanigans, um, and the tr but the truck went well overall, but the big thing, and, and I came home, I came home and I went to bed very quickly after I got home. And my body didn't want to keep me asleep, which is the trouble I've been having that I've not, that I've like hinted at, but I've not really talked about. Um, but that is the main issue I'm having. And I could try melatonin, but melatonin is hit or miss for me. So I don't want to like go for it and then it not work and then be disappointed. I'll try it again at some point and I'll let you know when that happens. Anyway, um, the... Went in for the truck, 5 a.m. Most of it was fine, but we did get a lot of cases of gallon drugs of water, like the ones that I use for streams. Um, there were like 60, 50, somewhere in there, cases of it. And that's six gallons of water per case, so that is a decent amount of lifting in a short span. So by the time I got home, it was like 8.45, 9 o'clock. And I just pretty much went right to bed because I could tell that my body was not having it. Um, and as, as usual, I've been up and down since because I can't, I can't get any amount of consistent sleep right now. And you could kind of tell with like how jumbled my thoughts are and how I've been bouncing all over during this, but I digress. I was tired and I've, uh, despite the truck going well, and I'm trying, hoping to correct my sleep at some point, which is kind of why I started doing the streams in the morning. So I'm hoping to try to maybe do streams on Tuesday morning, Thursday morning, and then hopefully have some level of um, consistency with that, and hopefully it'll like help me fix my sleep schedule. For now though, I do have a vlog to edit, so you, you, the next clip is probably going to be after or during stream tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned that I was planning this, but uh, I took some melatonin and it takes a little bit to kick in usually, but it's been a long time since I've tried melatonin to fix my issues. Um, it's very hit or miss for me, but I figured with how all over the place it's been for me lately, it, uh, my sleep, uh, it is worth trying. I'll check back in in the morning to let you know, but otherwise, I don't have anything else on for the day. It's a little early though, it's only 11.30, but I figured the more I sleep the better, because especially if I'm going to try taking melatonin like I just did, it'd be better to give myself more room to breathe, you know? <laughs> but for now, I'm going to bed. Uh, I went and tried melatonin last night, as you know, and it did help me stay asleep. I do feel rested, but the entire day today, I have felt still extremely groggy, and I only tried a small amount. Uh, we sell these gummies at work. They're like three or five milligrams per thing, which is within the daily recommended amount for adults, but it has kept me groggy all day, and honestly, I kind of feel like going back to sleep. I don't know if I'm going to, but I definitely want to. <laughs> um, so we'll see how, how I feel towards the end of the night, but it definitely helped me, like, sleep, <laughs> which is good because it's very mixed the last few times that I've tried it. So I'm, I'm excited to feel rested again, not feel like 
I'm running on fumes for days at a time. So, I hear a cat. I'm gonna go see what that is. This door is locked. Hi, bye. Turned out the cat was in Olivia's room and wanted to come out. Who knew? Not me. Anyway, um, if I start losing my sleep again, I'll probably take m more melatonin. But we'll see how how I feel. Um, and if there are any like big changes, I'll let you know. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to Friday. Um, I did a thing today. Let me go get it. So, when I went to work today, I decided to bring this. And this is not a Harry London gourmet chocolate. This big canister here is what I throw my spare change in. And you can see that it's pretty empty now. And that's because I brought it in and I traded it in for a fair amount of money. Um, Money's been a little tight, I won't lie. Um, part of that has to do with buying my plane ticket. Plane tickets are expensive. But, uh, it was the time to do it. Anyway, um, so I decided to bring in all my change, and I traded it in at work, figuring, well, it's not a Coinstar machine, and it's not, like, through some company's process. So I won't have to pay any fees, and it'll help us at work. <laughs> so, I ended up trading it in, and I got uh, $46, maybe 47 I forget exactly. I think it was 47 and then I spent a dollar immediately. <laughs> because I wanted a drink. <laughs> but I, I'm excited to have it. Because it just is more money that I don't have to... It's less money that I have to put on my card. <laughs> Excuse you. Please stop scratching the door. Anyway, like I said, it was 40 something dollars and I'm excited to, to have done it because it's like a buffer in a sense that I don't have to, um, I don't have to worry about. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That, that was the only, like, major thing today. I know this is gonna seem weird coming off the tail, uh, off of the heels of, oh yeah, I'm, money's a little tight, I have to go change in all my change, yeah. I've been sitting on these for a few months, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Let me just open these and get it over with. There's no reason to sit on these for months at, on end. So we're going to open some Pokemon cards. Alright, so this one has a Garchomp on it with the... I can't quite tell what Terraform that is. But we're going to start with this one. And I've never been super great at opening these things. So I might go get a pair of scissors. Oh wait, never mind, I got it. <laughs> Alright, we have Nimble, Elekid, Vanillish, Onyx, 
Medical Energy. Steamy. Gliscor. Another elegant, but this one's shiny. Not shiny in the traditional sense, like the card is shiny. I think it's called holographic. I'm not super big on uh, cards. Tandem Mouse. Iron Jugulus. Future. <laughs> Basic Energy. Psychic. And a code that I'm going to give to probably Marina. And now for card two, featuring Iron Valiant. Remoraid. Pumpkaboo. Zubat. Not to. Toad Scroll. Slitherwing. Technical Machine Devolution. What? You can devolve. Wow, you can force devolve your po uh, Pokemon. Flittle. Nimble. And Ting Lu. And a basic fighting energy. And another, co uh, another code. Very exciting. Personally, I think my favorite art out of this opening was, um... Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I mean, the Iron Jugulus one looks really cool. Steeny, maybe, because that, that one is very cute. Although, so is Tandem Mouse. Maybe it's Tandem Mouse. I'm not sure. I'll have to think on this. Oh, maybe I'll put it in text or something. But yeah, two more packs. Down, down the hatch. Down the hatch? I'm not eating them. So I got this at work. And I don't normally have cotton candy, but the flavor seemed interesting. So I figured I would try it. That took forever to get open because it just did not want to rip. Anyway, we have the cotton candy now. So we're gonna try it. It tastes pretty good, actually. As cotton candy does, it just melts in your mouth. But the, the flavor actually tastes pretty good. I might have to um, get another one of these. I definitely might. So I bought a new thing today. And I've been debating whether or not I'm going to get this for a while now. Like a good week, week and a half, maybe. Uh, and that is this. A big, very big bottle. Big cup bottle thing. Uh, I've filled it once and, and drank it all. Um, it is about 64 ounces, which is about half a gallon, or is half a gallon. I don't know, I don't remember offhand what the um, recommended daily intake of, of fluids is, but I figure fill this once, be good for the day for the most part, and not have to think too hard on it, which is very easy to do. It's just a very big bottle. So fill that, bring it with me to work, bring it around the house, whatever I'm doing, I'll ultimately be fine. Not terrible, not stupendous, but I definitely, uh, I'm excited to have it because I do care somewhat about my health. I know I act like I don't sometimes, but little things like that do make it easier. And the best part is that for as big and as nice as this is, it was only $5. The big debate that I was having with myself over it was, am I going to use it long term? And I ultimately decided, yeah, I think I am. I, I, I feel like I am. So I bought it, and I'm happy with it so far. And that changes. Oh. <laughs> but it was only $5, so if after, like, 
a few months, it's like, yeah, I'm not using this too much. Then I won't have, I won't really fret about it, because it was very inexpensive. But, like I said, I'm happy with it, so. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this again. So, when I pre-ordered that Xenoblade shirt that I showed off last week, I actually pre-ordered a second one. They had two available, uh, pretty much back-to-back. -back. Um, I think they were both the design of the day or whatever on the Yeti. This one is called A New Future. And honestly, I think I kind of like it a little bit more than the one for base game 3. But also, I liked Future Redeemed a lot more <laughs> than base game 3. Uh, I do really like base game 3. But Future Redeemed is just the better package, if you ask me. As, like, Xenoblade 3 as a whole was kind of like the combined world, or it was marketed as the combined future of both worlds. Uh, but the DLC showcases that a lot better than the base game. And while I do love the base game and I love the characters and, and their stories, I do still have that part of me that's like, as a continuation of the universe, the DLC kind of showcases what's going on a little bit better. Because for most of most of the game, the main party is in the dark of what's going on. And that kind of sucks, because <laughs> it's hard to be like, well, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? Because the characters are not thinking of that, so they're not going to investigate that. At least with the the DLC, you do have the the some of the old cast come back and be like, you know, this is what happened. This is what we're working to deal with right now. So, I definitely prefer the DLC over over the, the main story. But that's neither here nor there. I just really, really love this. This is so good. But it is this the end of the week. So, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week.